Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. She has a camera and I'm so blooming excited but nervous at the same time and I am going to be constantly looking at myself pre-warning you in the view thing because this is such a surreal experience right now. Also, I want to explain the hair situation so i did say in my last video i was having a transformation and this is the transformation she's not fully complete that's why she's up and i'm not showing her in all of her glory right now basically we needed two more packs so i've got taping great length extensions i've obviously let's address the colour, I've obviously gone copper, cowboy copper, but yeah, I need two more sets of tapes to make it look full, so right now when it's down, it's a bit obvious, so you girls having to wear it up for this video, but I've got just like a little claw grip in, and I'm so obsessed with the colour, it's so weird looking at myself in the mirror and just being like, ooh, she looks very different, your girl's gone from bright blonde to a really deep copper. Let's go back to talking about the camera. This is a big milestone and I just want to address it in this video that this is where I feel like it's starting. This is where it's hit me. And I was like, you know what? Let's just go for it. I'm just scared to edit this. Not scared, but I like things to be perfect straight away. That's my problem. Like I get really excited about something. So learning all of this new stuff, learning how to edit on my MacBook and I'm going to really take my time editing this video tonight. We need to stop rambling, but I'm just very, very excited. I'm very proud of myself for getting a camera. So this video, as you've seen in the title, is a boohoo party wear, sparkly clothing haul. I have actually already filmed this video, but it was when I was still filming on my phone. And obviously I had a light bulb moment where I was like, you know what? It's time to invest. So it's not my like first reaction to the items. It's cool. We're, I'm gonna like style things that I didn't like that I did in the last video. I can up the ante in this one. So it's Gucci. It's all good. I'm gonna get started with the fav my favorite item that I'm a hundred percent keeping, and I feel like it's such a staple to have at this time of year. A sparkly blazer. Oh my god. This blazer is definitely being stolen by my mum. She spotted it and was like, "You be." I've posted it on my TikTok and stuff and everyone's going crazy for it. So it's the Glitter Boyfriend Fit Blazer in Black. It's in the Jasmine and Lids collection that's recently come out. It is just gorgeous. Let me get really up close and you can see it twinkle. Ugh. The reason I thought it would be good to do this video now is because obviously everyone has their Christmas parties with work coming up, or Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, and then just any events that you've got throughout December, this video is for you. This is the vibe, so you can style this up, you can style this down, you can wear it with a skirt, you can wear it with jeans. This is the statement of the outfit. and. Everything else can be quite basic. So yes, why am I holding this like this? I'm like hugging it like it's a bloody bear. <laughs> okay, this is the blazer. How much of a moment is this? I've got these jeans on. These are Stradivarius. This basic bodysuit is from Zara. Paired with some really sparkly shoes. These are from Ego. So beautiful. Look at the sparkles. Honestly, it's weird to see it with my hair. Very, very strange. Forgot to see where the bag is from. The bag is from H&M. So the actual fit itself, as you can see, size 10 is perfect. It's the perfect fit. Sleeve length and everything. It's not too, too thick. Right. <laughs> Your girl can't walk in heels. She did ballet and point for years, but she still can't walk in heels. I feel like this is definitely good for a work do. So I'm quite sad about this next item because they don't fit and I want to buy the size six but they're currently out of stock. They're part of the Jasmine and Lids collection as well. Sparkly jeans, this is so in right now. On Zara, obviously they're a bit more expensive than this. So if you're wanting to find a more affordable pair, these are the pair for you. Rhinestone sequin pair of jeans, look at that twinkle. I'm here for it. For size reference, I got because um, I've not, I don't, I've not shopped in the past from Boohoo too many times, so I just kind of got a size eight in 
everything, size 8 or 10. So that blazer, I forgot to say, was in size 10. Um, that was already oversized. It was titled as a boyfriend oversized fit. Whereas these, I just got size 8 and I should have got size 6. And now they're sold out and I want to cry. But it's nice because they're like party in the front and then just chill vibes in the back. So they're not too much. It's so sad that these don't fit. So I've still got the same bodysuit on. Kept the same shoes on as well, but this bag is urban. Let me come a little bit closer so you can see the twinkle. But they're just super comfy. Like I'm, I'm glad there's like pockets of the perfect length. They're not too baggy, they're not too slim, and they weren't too expensive as well, considering they're literally sequined to the gods. They're so pretty. So these next two pieces are the same item, but different colours. A sequin skirt. Can't go wrong, these are so popular at this time of year. Look at that sparkle. The one thing I'm annoyed at as well, skirts I got in size eight, should have got them in a size six. This is such a good Christmas party option with black tights, a little like satin top number or just a basic bodysuit if you don't wanna to go too crazy in the top half and make the skirt the focus point. And it's so Christmassy and so different. You wanna look like a bauble or a piece of tinsel. <laughs> so, this is the black sequin skirt. I don't know if this is too much for everyone. <laughs> for me, I love an all black outfit. Maybe I'll look back and think, yikes, look at when editing this. There's a lot going on. Because we've got sequins, we've got lace, we've got sparkles, <laughs> we've got crop print boots. So maybe it's a bit much, but because they're all the same color, I feel like it can all tie in together. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. I feel like it's just a great piece to have at a Christmas event. The only thing is for me, it's just too bloody big. For me personally, I would have liked it to have been here and then a bit further up, which is maybe a bit slight for me, but yeah, well. <laughs> so here is the silver one, size eight again. As you can see, because it's on a white background, if the tassels do come off, let me just sort myself out. If the tassels do come off, it's a bit more obvious because it's set on a white background, but I feel like the white looks really lovely. I can see my reflection. Hello. This one is lovely. And in the first video, I wanted to style it with like a t-shirt because on the website, the woman has styled it with like a t-shirt and she looks really chic and cool. But my white t-shirt is no longer icy white. Do you know what I mean? So on the video, it looked a bit like naff with it. So I'm definitely gonna style this differently when I do the try-on section. <gasps> this is so cute, this outfit. I really like it. This skirt, I do love, but I personally prefer the black one. I definitely feel like the length, I want to be a bit more short. I'm just gonna keep hunting for my perfect sequin skirt. This next piece, I was really pleasantly surprised by it in the first video. I'm sorry I keep referring to the first video, but I'm remembering things that I brought up. You know, your girl's flat chested. I've covered this in past videos and low plunge necks, it's not giving because there's nothing there to give. I saw this on the website and I was like, really like that because it has a nice element at the back as well, as you'll see when I try it on. And I was like, you know what? Boob tape, I could just, you know, give the girls a little extra helping hand. As well as sequins and sparkles and things, feathers are a really big thing at this time of year in terms of party wear and things. So I wanted to find an item of clothing that showed that. But yeah, when I first got this out the bag, it literally looks like the weirdest thing ever. So there's just this, obviously it's because it drapes. So when I first opened it, I was like, Oh, the shoulder pads, which is a bit annoying, but because it's a satin top and it's like a slip, slippery material on the skin, I feel like the shoulder pads are needed to keep it secure and it kind of gives the effect of really nice shoulders. <laughs> Yee. Okay, this top is absolutely gorgeous. I paired them with a more higher waist jean this time, so you can't really see the actual band. I just love it, I love the feathering with like my rings and my um, nails at the moment. Look how gorgeous. I paired it with this bag from Ego and then I've got these boots on again. I just went downstairs to have my dinner in this outfit because it was time for a dinner break and my mum was like, oh, 
oh, I really like you in that. And I was like, ooh, that's annoying. I feel it's time to show some colour. So let me show you this gorgeous shirt. This trend, well, it's not a trend, but obviously it's really in right now, as well as the sequin skirts, these sheer, ooh, bit of fluff. These sheer shirts are so bloody in right now and they're so beautiful. The one thing I really like about this is your girl's got lanky ass arms and the way that this flares out here kind of just makes my arms look, they just, in, it just really, it's really flattering on my arm length. <laughs> it's not just making your arm look like, it's giving it a bit of shape and making them look less long. First of all problems, you're probably like, I wouldn't have even thought of that. I, th I saw this colour and I thought, I, I never wear colours like this. I'm not a really a lilac gal. So when I saw it, I was like, I've got to give it a go. I've got to give it a whirl. You can wear it with like a pair of jeans or a pair of like nice white trousers or something um, with a nice pretty sequiny or basic like bralette underneath and make the shirt the statement. Look at the twinkle. Lilac sparkly top. This is so beautiful. I feel like this is a really like elegant time. This piece. I do like the length of this. I feel like it could be a bit too long. I'm not really sure. And I feel like I should really pair it with maybe like a lighter wash denim jean. I have just paired it again with this silver bag and the black and silver shoes. I just can imagine this with some trousers to go with it. But obviously they'll be sheer as well. So it's a bit like mm, I don't really know. And I probably, if, I, if that was the case, I wouldn't get it in lilac. I'd probably get it in like a, a black colour, maybe. It's, it's quite uncomfortable, not gonna lie, it's a bit itchy. So I'm gonna show the one thing that I was quite disappointed with in the video. They were actually the item of clothing in the first video that I thought were gonna be my favourite and that I was definitely going to keep. But she was very, very disappointed. When you look at people modelling online, you see them style the item and you think, that's gonna look just like that on me, that is gonna look amazing, yes, I love that. I styled it basically the exact same way the model did, and I was just like, no, it's not a bit of me, it's just not right. Everyone has different body types, and I have a very short torso, and these are extremely high-waisted, and they literally sit underneath my boobs. So it's just not a vibe. It's giving Tin Man, Tin Man vibes, but they are a moment. They just need to be styled right. The one thing I loved was that the inside was a really nice fleecy material. Obviously at this time of year, the key thing as well when I was ordering everything in this haul was I wanted to make sure I could layer these items, potentially wear tights with the skirts that I shoe, showed shoe. With these trousers, it's really nice because they have that inner lining which makes them a bit more cosy, especially if you're like day drinking or something, going from pub to pub, pub to pub, you wanna be nice and toasty. Okay, so I've paired these differently to how I did last time, and I actually do think they look a bit better, but they're still just not perfect for me. The bottom of the feet, they, they have like an open bit at the front, and they kind of go like that. I'd rather that that slip in at the side, just because I feel like it looks a bit weird. Do you know what I mean? I've also just popped on a really basic, just tiny boot jean. So this is where they should sit. I mean, that's a bit ridiculous. But they're really nice and thick, like they really are keeping my legs warm. Obviously with this, I feel like I'd wear like a, a black cropped blazer. This is just a little black bag from um, Urban Outfitters. Shocker, I've got those same shoes on again. I feel like they're really, they've made their moment in this video. I feel like I could really like them. There's just not enough pros compared to the cons. Right, the last thing was another thing that's, I wasn't disappointed in this. I can see the vision and I absolutely loved the vision, but the trousers just didn't fit right on me. And I always knew they potentially weren't going to, so. Hear me out. This is a perfect cohort for someone who wants to stand out at the Christmas party. Someone who's brave and someone who wants to be a moment. This is a sequin cohort. And I was so excited when I opened it because it's actually velvet. As you can see, this is how it twinkles and you can see that it's velvet. And obviously that's gonna keep you a bit more extra warm than just a sheer material 
at this time of year. It is a pair of black sequin trousers. There's no zip, it's just like got a stretchy panelling at the back. I got the top in a 10, like I did with all my other shirts. This could have been a bit more oversized for me. It's just easy because both items go well together. The one thing that threw me off was the leg length. So I have, for like body reference, I have a short torso and quite long legs and I'm 5'6". So I'm not even that tall, but my legs are really long for my body and my arms as well. So when I see trousers that fit quite short on a tall girl, I know that they're most likely going to fit short on me, even if I'm not as tall as them. So that was the one thing I was a bit like, because mm, these looked like they only just fit the um, model when she was like 5'8", five, 5'7". Five, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Just picture a flashback, like a photo flash at a restaurant with your friends with this, ooh, my boob was almost out. <laughs> Would just be absolutely insane. Come up closer so you can really see the twinkle. But as you can see, I would have liked it a bit more oversized, a bit more boxy on myself. You know what I'm like. I've placed them on my hip, um, but they're actually in the photo, kind of above her hip. But if they're above her hip, my ankles would full on be out. So I've got to wear them really low. I feel like with a really sleek hair and like a really just nice shoulder bag like this green one I feel like it's a really big moment and you'll definitely be standing out at your Christmas event if you had this on okay that is the video oh, <laughs> why am I doing this with my hands? it's because I feel a awkward <laughs> be sure to like and subscribe this video I'm going to link everything down below so if you want to grab any of the items of clothing it will all be down below, as well as my social media links and things if you want to check me out on other platforms. And yes, be sure to like and subscribe to this video. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>